Hi everyone, it's me again. <laughs> uh, I had some running around to do and I actually look a little bit uh, presentable today. <laughs> My daughter cons um, convinced me I, I got a small little bag in today. And it's not much, but she convinced me to go ahead and do a, a haul video. Um, and maybe she do that so y'all know that I don't always look that horrible. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, hello. Uh, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Um, we're going to do a, a short haul video. And then I'm going to show you some of the items that I've been working on. And... Um, I showed, I think, some of them to you, but I hadn't done anything uh, to them yet. Uh, these have been sanded down, and these have got um, uh, either the buffing or the resin on them. All I have to do now is drill the holes and, and put them together. Um, and then I've got a couple of things that I have poured. Uh, I thought you might want to see those so you know what the, the molds would look like. Uh, I do have my coffee. It's not Kokomo. I did not have a Kokomo today, uh, but it's still good coffee. <laughs> and I'll tell you, the coffee that I drank, and I, I've tried lots and lots and lots of them. And normally, I don't like anything great value at Walmart. I, I'm not a big Walmart person, okay? Um, but we do go there and get a few things. Uh, we shop at all of our local markets, actually. We go to Kroger's, we go to Publix, we go to Food Lion. Uh, we go to Aldi's. And um, we do get a few things from Walmart. And one of them is my coffee. Now, my husband drinks nothing but that um, Cafe Bastilia. Am I saying that right? It's the um, real strong espresso blend. And it's dark and it's bitter and he loves it and he drinks his coffee black. Uh, he tells me I'm not a coffee drinker, that I like uh, a little bit of coffee with lots of cream and he might be right. But my favorite coffee, let's get back on track, um, is Great Value and it's the cream brulee. And, and that's what I drink all the time. That's what's in this cup. And if it's not that, then it's the Kokomo. And I have tried making the Kokomo at home uh, because I know what they use, but it's just not the same because I can't get their Dutch Brothers blend coffee. And I think that has a lot to do with it. But anyway, so much for coffee. <laughs> oh, there's no, when, when you turn on my YouTube video, there's no telling what you're going to hear me talk about. <laughs> okay, let's get started with uh, the haul video, I'm going to push this stuff over and I'm going to angle it down. Um, because I want, it's not, it's not very many items. It really is not. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, I should have a, a huge haul coming um, in a couple of days, I hope. At the tracking site change with laser ship, it's still showing exception I sent to the wrong uh, location. There's no update on that, so there's no telling when I'll get that. And that's four orders. Um, but I'm hoping they get that rectified soon. This is this is an item. I've already got one of them. I got the green, and it's in one of my videos, but I ordered another one. I had to pay a little bit more. I think I paid 378 for this. The other one I paid two, 279 287 something like that. Uh, this is the black one. I'm going to give the green one to my daughter. Green is her favorite color. And I don't care what color it is. I'm just going to drink coffee out of it. Uh, and it's the vacuum seal. But still, for that that price. And I think it holds 16 ounces. And it's hot and cold. Uh, it says for 12 hours. So... Uh, Yes, I bought another one of those. Oop, let me pour the top back on. Okay, there it goes. Okay. And this isn't going to be quite as long unless I do a lot of rambling, which, you know, it happens. These I show, 
I showed you uh, this in, I think yesterday or day before was the video. And I remember when I said, I wish I'd gotten 10 of them. I was surprised. I order so much I forget sometimes what I order. Uh, and I know that's not good. That That's not good. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, and, and I was sort of happy that I got these because I showed them yesterday. I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before. And I said I wish I'd gotten more because I only paid eight cents. Oh, uh, okay. See that? But I'm a, I don't know, it's sharp on the inside. This on the inside. It was only 18 cents. I'm not even going to fool with trying to get it, you know. Uh, there's a piece of it. And I can still use it for what I wanted to use it for, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna use this for my uh, pouring. Well, I got one in my package prior to this. I got another one, then another one, then another one, this one, this one, <laughs> and that one. I have a total of seven now. Uh, the first one I paid eight cents for, these I paid 18 cents a piece for. I still got seven of them for less than what it would have cost me one at the Dollar Tree. Seven. And they go to one and a half cup. So I was happy to see that it's in the package. And it's not quite as windy out here. And this right here I got, because occasionally it looks real cheap, okay? The box does look real cheap. This was 68 cents though. It was 68 cents. And occasionally I do like a, a cup of tea. And the, the tea I like it is the loose leaf tea. And normally I have to keep up with those little tea leaf ball things, you know, to keep the loose leaf tea and and um, this right here it was 68 cents it's 13 ounces came with a little tip that removes i'm trying to get the plastic from flying okay and then it has the little screen in there so i don't have to have the little tea thing. I can put the tea leaves in with the water. I think that's how you do it, isn't it? Is that not how you do it? I'm not sure now. Hmm. You can't put them up here and then pour the water because if you do, then they don't get to steep, right? Uh, but if you pour it down in there, if you put the tea leaves in there and pour the water in, it's still going to come out that way, I, don't, I think. If y'all know, let me know. I thought I had this figured out, now I'm second guessing myself. Uh, so I'm not sure. It's 68 cents. And it's stainless steel. And then I got these because these are hyperallergenic. I have bought them before from Timu. And um, I know they are because my daughter tries this stuff out for me. I'm not sensitive to it, but she is. Um, and these are just the normal fish hook. And it comes with the, the plastic uh, backings, which I prefer, uh, even myself, I prefer. And that's what I normally uh, put on the ones that uh, I sell. And it even came with this nice little polishing cloth, which is nice. And these are, these are good, sturdy. I don't know if y'all have ever gotten Michaels and Hobby Lobby's really bad for me when I don't buy findings from them anymore. Because you see these, sometimes I have to 
to bend this. I don't think I can do this, but I, I turn it around so it fits properly, uh, depending on, and I don't know if I've got the strength to do it. So I was able to do that with this, okay? I was able to turn it, no problem. If I tried that with any of them that I get from Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, I don't know what the difference is, they break every time I try to do it. I don't know how many of those I've wasted. And when I first ordered these, I've not had one to break on me, not one. And that they, they don't, that, can you see? These are not totally round. These are sort of flat. Can you see that? I wish you could see this. Um, and they're sort of textured right there. They're not just the, the cheapo uh, fish hooks that, that you get. Uh, the price is awesome. I paid, and I don't remember how many's in here, but I think, let's see if it says. No, it just says golden. I'm going to say a hundred. It could be more than that. I'm not sure. Uh, but I paid a dollar twenty nine cents. I buy these all day long. I bought two golden. I have very little gold stuff because I'm drawn to silver or, or white gold. Uh, platinum is nice too. Uh, that's expensive stuff. Uh, but they're silver. See how nice that looks? It's not that dull gray. I think that's ugly. This is a bright white silver. I like the jewelry findings. I've had no issue with them whatsoever, and they're definitely not cheap quality. Um, and I'll pull one of these out and do the same thing. I don't know, can you see me do it? And it's really hard for me to do it without a pair, but I did, I got it turned. That bright, I've not had one, not one bright. And then these also got the, the small flat edge, and I know you can't see that on here. Uh, does that help? These are really nice. And so I got three packs of those. Oh, I got some more of those. What is that? Okay, I got another spoon, spatula, rubber, silicone. <laughs> whatever, whatever you want. And this is eight cents. I got the black one. I'll get whatever color they have because I don't care what color it is. Yeah, it's the black. And. Last, this is a little bit smaller than the yellow one I got a couple of days ago. But for eight cents, I'll buy them all day long. Let me get a drink of coffee. I know it's going to get cold before I get it drunk. Ah, here's another one. It was the, color, it was the only color I could get for the eight cents. And this was not the same seller, okay? These these are not the same. That's thicker. And it's real stiff right here. The, the little band goes all the way to that point. This one is smaller and thinner. And it was, it was two different uh, sellers. Uh, and that one just has random color on it. time putting the stuff back in the bag. It amazes me how they get it all packed in it, and it amazes me that all six of those plastic measuring cups got here in one piece. 
it, it still amazes me how they can do that. Okay, and these are key rings. I forgot the thing. I had that thing up. Let me turn it down. I hope y'all have been seeing this. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't have to go back and redo this video. I'm not used to having it angled up myself. Okay, these. Oh, okay, these are key rings. They're just stainless steel, but they have the little chain. And the ones I had didn't have the chain, it was just a circle. And I think I paid, it wasn't much, maybe 89 cents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine? Ten. Okay, so there's ten silver and then ten gold. And all it says on the package is gold and silver. And then I got, I really like their jump rings. I really do like their jump rings. They're not thin. You, you can't, the majority of the ones I've gotten, it's hard for me to do it with my hands. I have to do it with the pliers which tells me they're more durable. Uh, these look thinner though. Let's see. I can move these with my hand, but not real easy. I, you can't see this, I know you can't. But it's, it's, it left a mark on my finger trying to push it. So these, these are not real bendable. And the ones I get, uh, from Michaels and, and Hobby Lobby, they're just super thin and they'll just bend. I mean, I can bend them all day long and that just tells me they're not going to stay together. And, and so the ones I bought here and the last ones I got were thicker than this and, and there was no way that I could open them. Um, so I bought more and I got gold and silver. And then I also bought more of these, just the little hooks. I got those in gold and silver also. And then I bought this. This is a magnet. It fits on your refrigerator or your stove if you've got, you know, uh, I put it in my refrigerator. And it's the conversion chart. And uh, I've got a, a smaller one that I did, I think, in a haul video, and it's metal. But this has more stuff on it. This was 18 cents, and this is the reason why I got it. It's just a reference. Okay. And then these. These are, I was happy to get because I'm going to try to get these done before uh, the show on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to get them done or not, but I'm going to try. These are bracelets. These are braided bracelets. And they're made out of the wax cotton. And I paid $2.98, I think, for these. One, two, three, four. Let me see if the package has got the, it does. There's 30 of them in all different colors. And I'll be buying more of these because I like the quality of them. There's no way that I could buy that and do it myself with the findings for that amount of money. Oh, yeah, this is a good deal right here. If you want to do bracelets, and I can do a bunch of polymer clay charms and get those done and popped on there really quick. Oh, so yeah, these are cool. I'm gonna pop them back in here. Okay, that is it for the TMU haul. Not a whole lot. 
I've got a lot more coming in. Uh, but I don't know how long it will take to get here. We're switching over to uh, the two trays that I poured. These are Timu molds that I got. Hey guys, <laughs> I lost the video. Um, well, part of the video. Well, the, the thing, the wind blew the thing down. Why do I look like I'm looking over that way? That's odd. Okay, I'm in my house now because the wind blew the tripod down and it turned the, the camera off and I didn't know it, but I, I'm trying to splice it together. It's happening a lot lately. Uh, anyway, we're, we're going to finish this up. These are the two Timu molds that I think I was telling y'all about um, before this happened. This is the first one. And I used the shifting mica powder. Ah, uh, yeah, you can sort of tell where it's just slightly blue in some areas, but it just shimmers. I love this mica powder. Uh, and I like the mold. Um, I've not done anything to it. I've not sanded it. I've done absolutely nothing to it since I poured it. And I'm gonna use these for display in my booth. I'm gonna pour a couple or more. Uh, so I'm not worried about uh, if they're perfect. Um, but I'm real happy with this mold. And then this is the other one. And I really like this mold. Look at the detail. And this is another uh, shifting mica powder. This is called Voodoo Purple. And it looks silver uh, in the container. And it's only when you put it on that you can see the color change. Uh, and I don't know if it's picked in up good or not, but this mold is really detailed. And I've not any, put any kind of finish. I'll probably wax these. But those are the only two molds uh, that I wanted to show you. I'm going to put the, I'm going to angle this down. It's not windy in here, so maybe this will be fine. I'm going to angle it down so you can see this. I showed this in a previous video, but it was only uh, right after it came out of the oven and, and it was not finished. This is finished. All I have to do now is, is put the findings on and they'll be done. This right here is the bracelet. <clears throat> this is totally done. This is finished. Um, I resined it. And I really like the look of it. Uh, this is the one, hold on a minute. I'm gonna show you the difference. This one's not resin. Now this is finished off, okay? And it's been buffed, but it's not resin. I don't know if you can tell the difference. This has got a lot higher shine on it. Uh, than this one. And I'm going to leave this one alone because some people like, you know, uh, stuff that's not resin. So I'm going to leave this as is. Uh, they're both black. Now these were the wooden bangles. But I like them both. And my daughter's not here. I, I'd get her to model them. I can't. I could almost get my hand in this one. But there's no way, because I'm Knuckles, but there's no way I can get them in. Oh, I don't know. Now it's, ooh, now it is. Oh, but now my hand's going to cramp up. Oh, that was not a good thing. Okay, <clears throat> on to the next one. These pendants, and, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but the the shimmery in the, the pink salmon-looking color uh, is awesome in these. And here's that one. The resin really does pick up the color. Really, really nice. And there's that one. And this one. I don't really like this one, but somebody might. The colors are pretty. Okay. And this one. 
And these are the earrings that, that it's going to go with it. And I am going to do them as a dangle. Can't really see them, can you? I had debated whether or not I was going to do them as studs, but I'm going to do them as dangles. And then these are really pretty. I don't know. Can you see? look at the color of that? Is that showing up? I love the shimmer that that resin just it makes it pop. And these two. The color on these is just absolutely stunning. And I really like those too. I like the blend and the mixture of the color. And I also look at these. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. And the, let's see. This one I think maybe shows more of the silver flaking in there. These are not resined on the back. I don't ever resin my back. I finish it off, but they're not ever resined on the back. <clears throat> and these really pop too with the resin. But see, there's, there's no resin on the back, just on the front. I did not resin this piece. I wanted it flexible. And see, so it is. It's very flexible. And I wanted it to stay that way. So when somebody's wearing it, it can sort of form around their neck. And that's what I wanted. But I did, you know, it's shiny now. I buffed it really well. And uh, it brings out the colors. It's just not resined. Same with the back. If I did that with resin, it would just crack. And uh, I finished off one, one pair of these. And the color's pretty. You know? And I think that's it. Um, and this may be the last video before the the craft. Uh, fair on Saturday. This is Tuesday, and I still have a whole lot more to do, and I said I wasn't going to do another video, but, you know, here I am doing another video. Um, let me lift this up so you can see me here. Um, so, um, if I don't see you again until after the, the craft show, um, I want to say thank you for uh, joining me again and watching my videos, and uh, I really appreciate you uh, subscribing, and um, I love reading the comments, and if you like the, the video, please hit the like button. That is YouTube's way of knowing whether or not they need to push the videos or not, uh, so it, it does help me get in the algorithm. and. Um, uh, I just want to say thank you, and I will see you again, if not before, which is possible, uh, it will be after the craft show, and I am going to try to video, I don't know how busy it's going to be, I don't know what's going to happen there, I'm really excited about it, I, I just got the notification today, I've got a fantastic spot, I am the fourth booth as people walk through um, the entry way. And uh, last year, I was way down in the field. I'm on the concrete this, this year and, and the fourth booth. And so I'm really excited about that. They are calling for a chance of rain. I've got my fingers and my toes crossed that it does not happen. Uh, but if it does, it does, you know, and I, I will deal with it uh, if that does happen. But I am going to try to uh, tape it. Um, and, you know, there were... 
for a short split second. I thought about going live, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but I do want y'all to be able to see what's going on and how it goes and how my booth is set up. Um, so if I don't see you before, uh, I will be posting um, the film from the, the craft fair probably on Sunday because the craft fair is Saturday. So y'all be safe. Y'all be happy. Um, have a fantastic rest of the evening and a super duper uh, awesome day tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.